Hi there, my name is Barb Owen of HowToGetCreative.com and today I'm going to do a review on something if you've watched me for any length of time. You already know that I love the SEI Tumble Dies. You already know I love those. This, alright, are you ready for this? This is SEI Tumble Die Neon Glitter. Mm-hmm, yeah. When I found these, I was like, really? Because I don't like glitter so much. I have a hard time with glitter, actually. It's messy, and it just kind of drives me crazy. If it's suspended in something, I kind of like it. I kind of get, you know, I like the glimmer and the shine and so forth. Anyway, we're going to open these up. I have used these one other time, so this will be a good test to see if they still spray well. So as soon as I get them open... Um, I believe you can get them individually and and then in this set. So this is the set. I know you can get the gold and silver ones individually. This is a set of three tumble dye. It's called tie-dye kit glitter. Um, and these are actually it's not a toy. Adult supervision required. So I'm going to do my best here. <laughs> um, they're ready to use, they're water-based, they're washable, and they come in this package as Glitter Neon Pink, Glitter Neon Lime, and Glitter Neon Orange. And they cost about $10 for the three. Now, these are for, they're meant for fabric. Now, I use them for fabric, I use them for paper, I use them for um, dyeing ribbons, all kinds of things. They are permanent. If you follow the directions and you do them, uh, uh, prepare the fabric properly and do all the stuff with it, it will be permanent. It will stay in the fabric because that's they're designed as a fabric dye. Um, more times than not, I actually I use them on um, on paper. So we're going to test them out on paper, and then I'll show you something that I did with fabric also. All right, let's start with the neon um, green, the lime. So let's take a look here. Okay, so I just have a stencil. <clears throat> this is a crafter's workshop stencil. I'm going to shake this up. <clears throat> the glitter, as in any glitter product, is going to settle out, so you need to shake it up well. So this is straight out of the box. I haven't done anything for quite a while, so I'm going to shake them up so we're going to see how easily they mix up because it's been sitting for oh probably a couple weeks and i've only used them once so all right looks like the glitter is it's fairly well mixed there's a little bit still down in in this section but it's fairly well mixed good enough for our test all right off with the cap. All right, so here we go. All right, the pump is having a hard time. The spray nozzle is having a hard time coming back up. All right, now I'm really loading it up, so it's probably going to run right under. And I always clean off the spray nozzle. It's probably going to run under the stencil, but we're going to get a piece of paper and see if we can soak up some of that. So I've just got some scratch paper here. There is no odor with them, so that's what came off on the scratch paper. It is truly neon. Yes, yes it is. And there's probably a little bit more on here. Let's dab it just a little bit more with the cloth. Now before I remove this, I'm going to attempt to show you the glitter of it all. Do you see all this? That is glitter. Yes. Glitter in a tie-dye fabric dye. This is all glitter. Highly, highly sparkly. Do you see it? Yep. Very sparkly. Okay. So let's pull off the stencil here. 
And because I put on such a heavy application, you know, you don't get a great rendition of the the pattern from the stencil because I put on so much. But really what I want you to see is I want you to see that great glitter. In fact, you can see the shadow underneath where it masked off and the glitter is around it. So that's kind of a cool bonus. You get a two for one. Okay, let's go over to this page and um, let's put down this stencil. This is a stencil from uh, Art Anthology, I believe. And as I said, I always clean off the nozzle and then be sure that you put the lid back on and put it all the way on so that it keeps that sprayer nice and um, dry and away from the air. So this is the pink one. Again, we've got a lot of settling of the glitter, so let's see if we can shake it up. Again, I've used this one other time. Now, I will tell you that with any of the tumble dyes, my experience is if they sit for a while, the sprayers clog up. So I'm going to tell you what I do about that here in a second. So let's just see if we can get it shaken up enough that um, we've got the product got the glitter up inside which looks like it is all right let's see what we get okay I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna clean off the nozzle again with the rag put the lid back on securely let's get another piece of paper pick up any excess here and we'll pick up a stencil and look at that folks mm-hmm look at that now because I wasn't quite so heavy-handed with the spray you can see um, much more of the the integrity of the stencil shows on that because I wasn't so heavy with the spray. This is very, very uber sparkly. Let's see if we can catch it in the light. Look at that sparkle and shine, folks. Yep, look at the sparkle. And the cool part about this is it is suspended inside a liquid so you don't have all the mess of the glitter to deal with. Yep. And you can see the pink and the green mixing there together. Not bad. Not bad. Now, um, I'm not going to rub my hand on this too much. Let's just try it up here. Now, will it brush off the page? I'm not entirely sure. I've used it on fabric up to this point. And on fabric, I was really pleased with it. So I would have to, you know, give it more time to thoroughly dry and then see if it's going to brush off. Um, I'm going to guess that you might get some shedding of the glitter, but I don't know that because I haven't tested that part of it. We're just doing this together just to see what happens. All right, so I've got one more stencil here. And this is the, the neon orange. Again, the glitter settles out in the bottom. So you need to shake it and let's see what the exact instructions say. Detailed instructions and ideas inside. Let's take a look at it, shall we? So here's the instructions. General instructions. Shake bottle well at each time. Each time you use the tumble dye to prevent color separation or specks of color, especially neons. Pre-wash all garments. Cover surface before starting. Yeah, that's a good idea because it will spray everywhere. Um, and so pretty much that's it. So on a garment, it says let the dark garment dry completely before heat setting. Okay, before heat setting. To heat set, uh, to set the dye, heat all items in the dryer for at least 15 minutes or with an iron or iron well. Okay. So I'm just seeing if I can get this to combine here. It 
and we're going to say that that's combined. I think it could be combined a little bit more, but we're going to say that that's done. All right, let's see. All right, that's all I'm going to do. Cleaning the nozzle off, put the lid back on securely. And then we'll, again, see if we can soak up the kind of the extra stuff a little bit and pull it off. And indeed, it sprayed pretty well. You can tell it might be not mixed super well in some of these spots, or maybe I get a little heavy handed with the sprayer. But let's see if we can catch the glitter. There you go. Look, look at the glitter. Yeah, that's not just wet, that's glitter. And it's a pretty even application of the glitter. So, you know, I would have to say, as far as a glitter spray goes, and it's not a glimmer, it's, it's truly a glitter. You know, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. All right, now I told you that um, my problem, problem, I love the SEI tumble dies personally, and so I will use them forever. I don't care. I don't care if they clog up. But that's the problem that I end up having with them is that um, for any spray for that matter, in my experience, will clog up over time. So I've learned a couple of things. And one is I just keep on hand these little two ounce bottles. I get them in the, the um, discount store or grocery store in the section, the travel section. And I keep these on hand all the time. And the reason I do is because I'm always having something that clogs up. I don't fight it anymore. I just keep an assortment of these. They're not expensive. And so I just keep them on hand. I also found that I could get the um, spray nozzles, replacement spray nozzles. These come from American Science and Surplus. And this particular one, it will not fit these little bottles, okay? This is a completely different size sprayer. Let me show this to you here. Okay, this is a completely different size neck. This fits a different neck than this. So these little sprayers that I get like at the in the travel section, you have to get the same sprayer and I've never found the sprayer separate from the bottles. So I buy this all as one unit. If you buy these, which are the uh, ones that I get at American Science and Surplus, these will fit the top of the uh, tumble dies. So this is the same size cap that fits the tumble dies. It also will fit on top of a craft paint bottle. So if you use up your craft paints, this same size cap will fit on top of your craft paint bottles. So I save these and then I have the extra sprayers so I can just make new spray bottles. I don't fight these. I don't fight these at all. I, once they stop spraying, I'm just like, okay, I'm over it. Put it in a new bottle, label it, Bob's your uncle. The thing that you have with this is that the spray tube is long. And so you'll have to take the spray tube that you're replacing and you'll have to cut it to the length that you need it to be. Okay, so you do have to do that. But they're very, I found them to be very inexpensive. I bought two packages of them. Um, they came very quickly. I'm a fan of American Science and Surplus. Their service is great. I even called them and said, or emailed them and said this wouldn't fit because I was trying to make these fit these bottles here until I went, duh, they fit the top of the, the same size as the SEI Tumble Dye bottles. Sometimes I'm a little slow on the uptake. I know. But anyway, once I discovered that they fit that, all was right with the world. Until then, I had even taken one and cut it off. And I, I asked them if I could return the ones that I hadn't used. And they said, oh, yeah. And I said, well, there's one that I've already cut. And they said, no problem. We'll take it back. And I'm like, 
Okay, well, that's what I call customer service. I did not send them back because I didn't have to. Anyway, I don't know if they do that in every situation, but they certainly were agreeable and easy to, um, to work with. And as I said, they were inexpensive. So you might um, check that out. But you know, let me see if I can show this to you from afar. You probably the light is so highly reflective that as soon as the light catches it, it just it just look at that. See that? That's the reflectivity of the glitter. It just blows out the light. Okay, let's try it on this one. Okay, you can kind of see it. See the color. And as I tip it, you're gonna see it get lighter and lighter because the glitter is reflecting. Yeah, it's pretty amazing stuff. Anyway, SEI Tumble Dye um, Glitter Neon. Yeah, mm-hmm. Pretty great stuff. I'm Barb Owen of HowToGetCreative.com. Come over to the website, check us out. We have all kinds of creative arts videos over there. We'd love to have you join us and see what we're doing. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. So if I had three thumbs, I'd give it three thumbs up for, uh, yeah, SEI Tumble Dye Glitter Sprays. I know, shocker, but I would. Thanks for watching.